G'day, welcome to another episode of Country Life on the Coast. Today we're going to work on our letterbox. When we bought this property, this is the letterbox it came with. Just a plastic container. We've continued to use it for a while, but now it's time to get rid of it. It's fallen apart. People can't actually see the number on it as well when they come in, so it's time to upgrade it. Now when you look around, there's lots of different letterboxes out there. If you go to a hardware store, you can have a look and they range from a little letterbox that comes on a post and all you need to do is dig a hole, concrete it in and you're done. There's pedestal ones as well, to ones that you brick in, you name it, they're out there. All sorts to choose from. And I suppose your letterbox just sort of needs to fit either the area you live in and look suitable or just suitable to what you like. But the way we do things here, we like to make things ourselves a little bit. So we bought this a while ago and it's been on the to-do list to install it. What we're gonna do is have a timber frame around it, put a concrete slab down for it and then bolt it down to the slab. So we'll take you through how I'm gonna do this and then you can use the same principles to make your own. You don't actually need one of these if you don't want to. It could be a fully timber letterbox anyway, but we picked this up at the right price, so we thought we would make use of it as well. So I'll show you the timber we've got, and we'll get into it. This is the timber I've bought that we're gonna use. I have two lengths of this. This is just a treated sleeper. I was actually gonna get a hardwood timber, but uh, this one I saw, just the color actually looks really well. And I'm sure when we put some oil or something on it, it will also help bring out the color more. So what we're going to do is we're gonna have two uprights. We're gonna have a piece at the top, a base for it, and then I'll have another shelf as well, probably part way down. The specifications I read say that the bottom of the letterbox should be at least 900 millimeters off the ground. So that's what I'm gonna to work to. So I'll make my timber top at about 1150 mil. I cut the outside two at 45s, make that look nice and neat. Got all my gear here, so I think I'll start cutting and we'll get this done. Cut our two uprights now. Got those cut at the 45s. So we'll just measure how long the top one needs to be, and then we'll cut that out, and yeah, then we'll continue on from there. All right, so we'll cut a piece off at 455. inside the shed so I've got a flat surface to sit it on and I've just dummied it up to check that it's going to fit which it is 
So now I'll just remove this out of the way, put a couple of screws in to hold that, and then I can measure the bottom piece and then sort of put it together and screw those in. So we'll continue on. New day, back on the letterbox project. The other night, trying to finish this off in, as it was getting dark and cold. And I did what I've been doing a few times lately, is rushing things. I've got to learn to just stop at times, walk away and come back later, because when you rush, you make mistakes. As you can probably see here, it goes off on an angle, and that's because this join here is pretty terrible, to be honest. I'm not happy with it. So I'm going to remove these two screws, try and square it back up, level it up, drill a new hole and reinsert it and then try and continue on. So the batteries are flat at the moment for the battery drills so they're on charge. So we're going to stick to going back to corded, that should still work. We'll pull this apart, try and fix it up and yeah continue on. So the next problem with having battery drills that are flat is your impact driver makes it easy to remove these normally. So my electric drill can't do it, so we've got to come back to the old Allen key just to start them off. way to hold this level and thought my trolley jack would be the best way so we'll jack this up this will then support that I can make sure I get it level sitting in the right spot and I'm not trying to balance things as well so all right that looks better Now we just need to secure that and hopefully it stays there. Uh, square this up, cut this up, yeah. Just use my compound saw here to cut this down. Unfortunately, I don't have a sliding one, but the other day I was having issues squaring up using my circular saw. So I'll be able to make this work just by flipping the timbers over, cut from either side. Um, again, not ideal, but just using what we've got. Okay, so we've brought our letterbox out the front here. 
sort of painted on the ground roughly where it's going to sit obviously remove the old one but yeah so we just need to dig out this level it out put a bit of form work out just so i can you know pour a concrete slab and get it nice and level and then we'll attach it on top so we'll dig this out and continue on a little bit then I'll come back and do the edges so this is how our letterbox is going to look my goodness it's a windy day so I have these L-shaped brackets that we're just going to install down here to hold it on so I just dyna bolt those down first and screw them in on the sides and we are done I grab my marker pen, mark it, drill some holes. Just using the rotary hammer drill. You can use a normal hammer drill just to do a couple of holes like this, but got the right tools, better to use them. So we'll just tap these in. Alright. We won't do anything up just yet. So we'll sit the uh, sit the letterbox over here, put the screws in and then after we've got it all sitting there, then we'll tighten it up. Okay, so we've got our screws here, ready to go. I think I'll screw one in one side, one in the other, make sure it still looks right, and then drive them home. So we'll do up those Dyna bolts. have a new letterbox. It's funny how you can get excited about the little things but a letterbox that I basically made myself didn't cost a lot of money. But that's all we've got time for in this episode. Thank you so much for watching. 
please hit that like and subscribe button. that would be great. and we'll catch you next time. god bless.